from the Spanish uh, for Marali Boy and today I'm going to show you how to prepare a pumpkin baby cuttlefish paella. It was a really simple choice for me given that it's Halloween and uh, I'm not going to be using this big boy since uh, I'm leaving it for the kids to carve and I'll use this more muddy green unusual looking one which is full of flavor and sweetness. But don't let me keep you, so let me run you through the ingredients. We're going to need some tomate frito, garlic, some salt, some sweet pepper flakes, saffron, sweet paprika, extra virgin olive oil, some Spanish rice, baby cuttlefish, a pumpkin and the roasted vegetable stock. We're going to start by cutting in the best way possible this really hard pumpkin. As you can see, I'm using my chef's knife, which is quite large, but always be careful, don't stab yourself. And um, now we're going to remove the seeds and I'm cutting a bigger slice and try to make it look like if it was an ugly looking smile. And I'm going to peel off the skin of all the pieces of the pumpkin as I don't want them to look green and I would like it to look very orange. And then just cut some thick big triangles as if they were the eyes and a little piece as if it was the nose. And now I'm going to finely chop some of the baby cuttlefish and leave a few whole. And now we're going to start really cooking the paella. So place the largest frying pan you have at home or a paella pan, as I am doing, and we're going to drizzle with some extra virgin oil. Um, with the stock, we're going to start warming it up so that it infuses while we cook the paella with our saffron. So just crumble it between your fingers and, uh, and let it sit on the side over the lowest heat possible. We're going to cook the pumpkin for about three to four minutes on each side until it gets some color. And we are going to start thinly slicing and finally chopping the rest of the ingredients like this garlic. Um, the little pieces, once your baby squid is a little bit sear and, and the pumpkin too, uh, remove it, set it aside and add the little pieces of, of baby cuttlefish which will give a very nice flavor and will form a really rich stock as well. And now once it got a bit of color we're going to add our finely chopped garlic and the sweet pepper flakes which will give a bit of a smoky taste the same as the paprika. So add the tomato frito and you can replace it by one grated tomato, it'll taste very very similar. Then sprinkle your sweet smoked paprika, add a little bit of seasoning, add your rice and we're going to sear it slowly for a couple of minutes until all of the rice is fully coated. As you can see, I took the smile out of the pumpkin just to make sure that it doesn't break any further as it's quite delicate. And we're gonna pour our hot stock into the rice and let it cook for 10 minutes over high heat and then the last nine minutes over low heat. Bring your pieces of pumpkin bag, make it look uh, as scary as you can with the smile, the eyes, the nose, and then just finishing it off with the baby cuttlefish teeth. Make a fool of yourself or really show off how good your decorating skills are. Mine have been absolutely terrible, so please don't judge me for that. And that is why I'm not a sculptor and I don't paint tarts because they'll end up looking like it's outrageous. <laughs> but anyway, I had a good, good fun doing it and that's what matters. And then it will taste really good. But anyway, since I'm on the topic, please do send me on social media photographs if you make any pumpkin pie. I think it'll be really good fun to see all your creations and see which one is the worst of all. <laughs> but anyway, if you've enjoyed the recipe, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're you want to find the written recipe, go to my website, thespanishhelp.com. See you soon. Happy Halloween and enjoy the party. Adios. Terrifying, isn't it? If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.